Good day viewers. I hope you are doing well wherever you are watching this uh, video from. So welcome to my YouTube channel. This is your tutor, Mr. Mlenga. Alright, as you can see, I've got a question that came in in Mathematics Paper 2 for GCE candidates. And this question is coming from the topic called D, mensulation. Okay, so this is the question that I want us to answer. Question B. So the question reads, the figure... A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H below is the flux term of a pyramid. E, F, G, H, as you can see here, you have E, F, G, H, okay? And A, B, C, D, these are squares, okay? Of sides 8 centimeter and 12 centimeter, respectively. Then the question is down there. Uh, given that the height of the flux term is 3 centimeter, Calculate its volume. And this question is carrying 6 marks. Alright, so how can we find the volume of this frac term? Okay, this is a frac term. Now, in case you don't know what a frac term is, a, a frac term is that part of a pyramid that remains after the top part has been cut off. Okay, so as you can see here, it's been cut off. It means that there was an apex on top here, and that apex now has been cut off. Then you are remaining with this shape that you are calling a frac term. So you have to know that you've got a pyramidal frac term and you've got a conical frac term. So in this case, this one that you are given is a pyramidal frac term. Now, how do you find the volume of this frac term? First thing that you have to take note are the uh, circular bases that you have been given. So here, the base that you have, even in the question they have told you that they are squares. Okay, you have a square here and on top you have a square. That's one thing you must know. So, you have the bigger square at the bottom and the smaller square on top. That's one thing you know. So, there are many formulas that you can use to find the volume of this what, frac term. There are many formulas that you can use. So, I'm going to show you the first formula that you can use in order to find the volume of this what, frac term. So, having said that, we understand that the bases that we have, they are squares. Okay? They are squares. So, how can we find the volume of this what, frac term. So I'm going to say volume, this is our formula, is equal to area of base, the area of the base times height. That is the formula there. Volume is equal to area of base times what, height. So what are we saying? We are saying V is equal to, so this is the formula we are going to use, where we say H over 3 open bracket so here we have the we have the smaller circular base on top and the bigger one down the smaller square up the bigger one down so we are going to find the area of the smaller uh, square on top which we are going to name as area 1 plus area 2 meaning the area of the smaller uh, square the bigger square down here then plus here root of so you multiply the area one with area two you cross this is the formula that we are going to do at it to use okay so having looked at the formula now let's organize our data we come up with our data all right so h is equal to this is the height you have told in the question that the height is what three centimeter okay then Area 1, according to the formula here, what is our area 1? Remember, remember what I've said? Here we have a square. And when you have area, yeah, is equal to, You can see the length side from F to G, it's 8. G to H, again it's 8. H to F, same length sides, okay? So I'm just going to say, what is our length is 8, which is 8 squared. So 8 squared means 8 times 8. So we are going to have 64 squared centimeter there. That is the area of this uh, smaller t square. Now, what is our area 2? Our area 2, what is the length? It's 12 here. So it means even from B to C is 12. Uh, C to uh, here, it's also 12. So this is supposed to be a D, okay? It's also 12. Again, from D to A, it's also a T, 12. So it is going to be 12 squared, which is going to give us 144 squared centimeter there as our area 
2. So you just say area 1, we have said 64 squared centimeter. Then area 2 is equal to what? Uh, 144 squared centimeter. So one thing you have to know is, it's very important that you understand the type of the base that you have. In this case, we are having what? The square bases. Now, there are certain cases where you may find that you are given the rectangular what? bases. So if you have the rectangular bases again, we are going to apply the same what? Uh, formula, okay? Area of the first uh, uh, rectangular base at the bottom plus the area of the rectangular base on top. That is, if that is the case, okay? Now, in this case, we are dealing with the square bases. So from here, let's just substitute. Where we say volume is equal to, uh, what is the height here? The height, you have said is a 3 over 3, open bracket, area 1. What is our area 1? It's a 64. So it says 64 plus, what is our area 2? Our area 2 is 144. 144 plus, what is our area 1? It's 64 times area 2, it's 144. Like that, you cross. So here, this is paper 2. There's need for you to use a what? A calculator. So volume is equal to, you divide this, 3 into 3, it's a 1. And here, since we have a 1, it's not going to make any change to everything that is inside the what? The brackets. So what's next here? Just add 64 plus 144. Alright, so here, uh, we have said 3 into 3, it's a 1. So this one, even if you put it here, okay? It's not going to change anything inside the brackets. So when you add now, 64 plus 144, you're going to have 208, okay? Plus, so what is going to happen is, you are going to add this. You are going to have the square root of 64 times 144. Sorry, I've said, um, you add, yes. Plus, square root of this times this. Remember, I've said this is paper 2. So you are going to get a value which is 9,216. Okay? So I do hope that you are following. I do hope that you are following. Alright. So I'm going to continue this on top there. Alright. So here we have, we say volume equal to. So here we have said this one is not going to change anything inside the brackets. I forgot to close here. Okay? So... Uh, 208, we are having the root of 208, okay, plus, so here, just find the, what is the square root of this value, 9216, what is the square root of this value, we are going to get a what, a 96, okay, so, uh, there is a mistake here, this square root is not supposed to be written there, because it's the one that you have found the square root of 9216 is 96. So just add 208 plus 96. Therefore, the volume of this flux term is going to be what? When you get your calculator there, you punch this plus this. It's going to give you 300 and what? 4 cubed centimeter. So when you are finding volume on the units, don't forget to put what? A cubed. So this is the volume of this fractal. Fractal. And remember, in an exam, this question carries how many marks? Six marks. So you can't afford to miss the six marks. So remember what I said at first. There is another formula that you can use to find the volume of this fractal. Okay. Uh, that other formula is whereby you find that you consider this fractal now to be a full, to be a full one. Okay. Where we extend now here, we create an apex part that was cut off. We can also use that other T formula. So stay tuned. I'm going to post another video where I'm going to use the other formula to see if you are going to get the same T value. Thank you so much, everyone.